Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the post winter transfer of 2035. Uh, so we have been in the Premiership for a while now. Um, our goal for this year is to get somewhere in one of the European competitions. Now we are slightly on edge here on the Premier League so we really need to be in that seventh place to be able to achieve um, a secure place in the European competitions. However, there's a small chance that eighth and ninth might be included in that as well. However, there's another way we can secure a European competition. If you look at at home, we'll see that we are playing Blackburn in the final of the Carabao Cup. Blackburn is trailing into in 22nd in the championship so this should be relatively easy to beat. Also, if we look at the league rules, uh, it's one of these. Um, there we go. So we, if we call, if we win the Carabao Cup, we qualify for the Conference League. Now the Conference League is essentially the lowest of them all. So if you go to. Um, if I can find it like this competitions oh yeah there we go so the conference league if we go to uh, I'm not really sure like which of these I would qualify for league path maybe and we'd be against quite small teams I think I'm not sure if uh, if I go to stages I'll be able to see the um, all the rounds. There we go. So I don't think there's any UK clubs in this round. So maybe the next round. Um, just trying to judge where I'd come in. Really, not this round apparently. Third round. I don't see any England flags on here. That's kind of what I'm looking for. England, there we go, Arsenal. So, did Arsenal play in the previous round? I don't think so. So it looks like we come in in the fourth round. Just to double check, let's double check Arsenal's um, schedule for this year. Yeah, so they came in at the fourth round. So that's the. These are the type of teams we'd be up against. I don't really see teams that would cause us too many issues. I mean, there are a couple, like the Spanish team, maybe a couple of Portuguese teams in there, but they're relatively um, easy compared to us. Besiktas is in that. I'm not sure how good Besiktas are at, um, right now. But yeah, so we'd be in this, the, coming in at this sort of level. And then if we progress through, there's a league stage. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, there's a knockout stage. Just trying to see what, so Yeah, slightly bigger teams in this one, but still more moderately, moderately small teams. So I think we'd be okay in this competition. It'd be quite a nice one because we'd play a range of of teams from around Europe. So that'd be good. So that's what I'm aiming for. I'm not so um, obsessed on to getting onto that seventh place. Although I think we do have a chance of doing it. But it's more about beating Blackburn in the Carabao Cup and g gaining entrance that way. So that will be good. Now let me take you through the changes we did for um, in terms of players in the, in the transfer window. So take you through the squad. We still have the same two goalkeepers. And um, oh, and by the way, we have a new patron. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort out my players in terms of ability. Look at the first new gen, Yossip. So Yossip. 
Let's set a nickname. Yossip. Yossip. Our new patron name is Rob. So maybe I'll just do this. Robert. Robert. Thank you, thanks Rob for subscribing and sponsoring as senior Nugen. Your name is now on, in the game and will follow Josip uh, and his career, whether in or outside Hereford, until the end of um, this series. And then, if you carry on subscribing, I'll find a Nugen in a new game as well to name after you. There we go. Robip now is the new name of this player. Okay, uh, now I wanted to show you the transfers. So we still have the same two goalkeepers. So Neil Nolan um, and also currently co recovering from injury Diego Zuppel. He's been our most um, consistent goalkeeper, but he's been injured for a bit. Uh, on the right side of defense, we have Malachi Field. And we also have a different player, uh, Mikel Guterres. So this was our first change. We uh, loaned out Emmanuel Ayou uh, with an option to buy, uh, to transfer. And we brought in this younger player. Only on loan, but he will be a good backup. That's okay. Um, in the center of defense, we made a couple of changes. So we still have Zahari. Yeah, in fact, we gave him a new contract. And um, we brought in Fermin Zubilaya. Zubi Hai? Zubi? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, so we got him on loan for a year, or for six months in this case, to finish off the, uh, the league. So that's the wide position. For the central defending position, uh, I wanted to get two more players, but I only got one. So we still have um, Euron Cashin. And we brought in Calvin Bassi. Just great physicals. Not so much in terms of anything else. But he's retiring. So I thought, you know what? Just get him in to finish the season. As a good backup. And um, Ben is being demoted to the under 21s. I wasn't able to sell him. So he's just helping out in the under 21s. And then I'll decide what to do in the summer. No nonsense centre back, we still have the same two, so we still have Linda and we still have Hiroki Harada. Um, in the left side, Matthew Andrews, still with us. Also, Jesus Angulu, also still with us. He's probably retiring. Has he decided to retire yet? Yes. So he'll be retiring at the end of the year. So will our striker, we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, defensive midfield, we still have Cooper, um, Coop Miners. And um, we got late last year, Bubakara Kamara, the French player. Uh, that tends to be a position where older players tend to do um, well for our team. Then we have Kovalenko in midfield and our newly sponsored midfielder. I've forgotten. He's now Robip. Robit Zugash is probably our best player, to be fair. I mean, definitely our best player. Recovering from injury. And then in the right side of attack, we still have the same two. Loren um, Lorenzo who's learning to play on the left, and also Ben Hames was also planning, uh, learning to play on the left. I'm actually playing him on the left now because our two players in that position are currently injured. So Ben is having a bit of experience playing on that left side. On the left, we have Stan Weavers, who's now completely accomplished in that left side, which is good. He's been our most consistent one. And Alex Ibanez as well as the backup. Strikers, we still have Emra reaching the end of his, okay, I think he's peaking out. Yeah, he has been doing as well this year as he did last year. And then um, Joel Piro, um, who's retiring at the end of the season. So we'll have to find someone else for next year. Now, those were all the changes. Nothing else to report, I don't think. As far as sales, 
Mm, yeah, we didn't really like John Carlos went to Brazil, but that was already agreed. It's only because the transfer window in Brazil works differently to Europe because they are on the opposite hemisphere. And as I said, Emmanuel Ayu is out on loan, and we might he might become a, per, a permanent deal depending on what they decide to do at the end of the year. So that was that was it. No. Um, club changes or so if you look at board what do we have under let's a completed nope nothing to see there ongoing yeah stadium expansion will be completed in a couple of years so that's fine not in a couple of years sorry um at the end of the of the season um yeah that's it really nothing much to report in terms of club changes or anything like that so let's jump on to match we have one um, game in hand compared to Chelsea, who are above us in the table with one point. So if we win this match, we will overtake Chelsea and go back to our consistent place of um, eighth. We've been eighth for a very, very, very long time now. Our history chart is very flat this year on eighth. Now Millwall should, should be, in theory, an easy team. Uh, however, I'm not really sure if, if that will be the case, but in theory they are lower down in the championship But our team hasn't been incredibly consistent. So that's why we've been in eighth um, Consistent enough to keep eighth But not consistent enough in terms of like runs of wins or runs of draws or anything like that. So kind of lucky really this year to have stayed in eighth consistently when we've been so inconsistent in terms of result results now if you'd like to support the channel like rob did it's fairly easy really you go to patreon and you select one of the sub subscriptions two of those subscription as um, they will allow you to name a Nugent or rather I will pick a name based on your name and I will name a Nugent after you and then I will make a small update on that um, Nugent every episode just to see how they are going if they're still with us if they move clubs and if they did move clubs then you know how they're doing where they're playing and so on if your Nugent retires and exits, exits the game and there's nothing to follow then I will just have to pick a different one so we'll choose a different player and start again and of course when I start playing the beta for the new game I will find brand new new gens for everyone And um, yeah, so that is Patreon. Don't have any other type of subscription on there. Um, so that's that's all really. Now, in, as far as plans for the for the club, uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to play one more season, and that season will include European games. That will be fun to follow along. Um, I'm starting to see the finance of the club peter out a little bit and I think that's because we've been slowly getting better players or at least more expensive players and that has started to erode uh, sponsorship, spon the money that we make from sponsorship and um, also the money we make from television rights and all of that. Also we have taken a quite sizable loan to improve our stadium, so um, that might have something to do with it. Oh no.
that's not good, is it? Alright, let's have a look and more changes. These balls aren't connecting too well, these crosses up. Um, it's a bit of a shame that striker wise, we're starting to. You know, we definitely need to refresh that position. It's starting to get a bit slow. So all these balls across the top aren't really working. And uh, it's second, second goal, 2 0. Looks like we're not going to be able to overtake Chelsea after all. That's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? But it's okay. Yep. Lorenzo's very tired. I wonder why that is. Did I have a knock? Boys really aren't playing that well. Now, just looking at the attendance figures for this game, 16,000 people in attendance. Our new stadium is going to be somewhere between 14 and 15,000, so that'll be still a full stadium. So hopefully, that'll be we we won't need to. Um, well, I guess I'll see if um, if we keep selling out every time. But um, I'm starting to, starting to get to the point where stadium expansions aren't really that needed. Three nil. It's a kick in the teeth. Okay, well, thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching till the end. And I'll come back at the end of the season with the outcome and just to have a look at the final match, maybe. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.